Word. And, um, because I just, I just, I just love it out here. You know what I mean? Word. No doubt. No doubt. Uh, X. X repping, X repping Queens. As a matter of fact, now for everybody out there, out there listening, man, just uh, look. I know it's in the culture, so I, I ain't really gonna. I'm, I won't ask you how did you start being in the music because I mean, hey, it's part of the culture. So I'm sure you probably been writing and and joining Cipher since a youngster, right? Definitely, of course, of course. Yeah, that's and, the right. That's the right. That's the right of passage. Exactly. <laughs> you know what I'm saying. So what? Well, uh, at, at what point in time, you know what I'm saying, did you realize that this was something that you, you was ready to share with the world, though? Because, you know, some people just kind of keep doing it, you know, on, on you know on that street level, which is what's up, it's, you know, salute and kudos to them. But at what point in time did you decide you was ready to take it to the next level and let just let everybody everywhere get a taste? Well, I mean, at a young age, that's what I only, that's what I really dreamed about. I mean, I don't get me wrong. I love the craft. I love the art. I love... I love the being to, to put words together, have it make sense, and, and be intelligent about it. And at the same time, I love all of it. I love all of it. I just feel like, you know, at the whole time, I just wanted to share with the world. I always felt like I had something to say. And I didn't think it reached the masses by just, you know, my own neighborhood. So yeah. I just, I've been pushing ever since, you know? Yeah, and you know what? For everybody out there listening to, you know, we're gonna end up getting into to one of your tracks in, in just a you know a little while. But for everybody out there listening, X got quite a few. If if I will, if I may call you X, man, he got quite a few songs, yo. You got some. You 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 got an arsenal. <laughs> man, people tell me I got too much. Like I'm, I got too much music. I never I never thought I'd be able to do that. I was like, yeah, you got too much music. I, I mean, just too much. Cause I looked on, I looked up there, right? You know, I was you know I was looking. I'm like, man. Dude look like he already got like you know what I'm saying, like you probably already signed or you know what I'm saying, this shit you look like you working on your second album with all the joints you got out already. Technically I am working on my second album. <laughs> okay, okay. Um the first album is out now, which is Thoughts of the New Yorker. It's on iTunes, it's on Google Play, it's on Spotify, uh, for free streaming and it just got on title. So salute to that. I'm glad to be on title. Um it's oh, going really well. Oh, my bad. You on title? You just oh oh big shit. You just said you on title too, right? Yeah. That's what's I'm up. Title One of my people uh, showed me the screenshot. Was like, yeah, you on title? I said, oh okay. So somebody owe me some money. <laughs> and, said, no. Hey, exactly, and that's a big deal. Like you know, you hear a lot of people that was talking about that, but for for artists like yourself and so many other artists out there, man, that's real because just like you say, I I because look, I know you love to share the music with the people. You know what I'm saying? Right. And let everybody get a taste. It's, it's where we come from. But at the same time, people out there really need to understand that people like yourself work hard. And, and it ain't sh- shit. Like, you want to make some guap for what you do. You know what I'm saying? Oh, for real. No, nah, none of this. None of this. Be clear. Uh, New York, wherever you listen to that, none of this shit is luxurious. None of it. Yep. The crime is real. Exactly. Yeah. The grind is real, and when you coming out your own pocket for a majority of it, you know what I mean. You really get to see what things are worth. Right. You know I mean? a, lot of, a lot of artists don't really understand that, and they feel like it's going to happen overnight. You know what I mean, but when you coming out them pockets, and and you know, this is real at that point. Yeah, especially what goes in. You know, you know everything included with the studio time, and, and with, with somebody like yourself, you're doing quality work. You know, in in just what you put out to the people, you know, just, just the whole imagery, you know, the sound quality, you really putting out quality work and that's no, I mean, it costs, it costs to do that. Right. You know what I mean? Right. Um, right. Nah, it's, it's not, it's not easy for real. Right. So, uh, what, like on your, on your, you know, going to your first joint, um, like w- when you first came in, you did your first album, like, did you have a lot of collaborations on there or, who were some of the producers you work with? Like, was a home team or? On the first album, um, I'm talking like it was a long time ago. I, I, just, I just released the album in October. The first <laughs> so, one? Um, yeah, I did, my, to be my first one. I did that, listen, I did that by myself. I went out, looked for the producers. I went out, looked for the people to do the, uh, the visual art. I put it together. And on the back of the CD, this is executive produced. But I'm gonna get my government right now. Executive produced by Exile, plain and simple. Word. 
That's all right. Yeah. With that album, I um, I, like I said, I went out and I was just scouting producers, like um, you know, like I don't want to say known unknowns, right. but they're more more underground that are just as hot. So you don't feel like you gotta go for a Timberland or a Swiss Beats. Not not taking nothing away from them, mm-hmm. but you gotta do what works for you within the money that you have right now. Yeah, that's real talk. Yeah. And, and yeah, because there's producers out there that's just as hungry, that's just as hot, maybe even hotter than the ones that's out right now. Yeah. So, as far as the collaborations go, I kept it small. Like, I don't, in my opinion, I feel if you got a lot to say, your albums, whether it be first, second, third, or whatever, shouldn't have that many collaborations on it, unless it's like a real necessity if it's going to add to the track. If you're just doing it just to do it, then you know what I mean. It doesn't really, it doesn't really click right. You know what? Yeah, you what you just said makes a lot of sense too, man. You know, a lot of writers, I'm sure, go through that. You know, when I used to write, it was the same thing. When you have material and you got plenty and you have a lot of stuff to talk about and you telling your story, then you just don't even think of a lot of collaborations. And the flip side to that is when you running out of stuff to say, the first thing you people start thinking is, "Oh man, who can I get on this track?" Right. You know. Yeah, that's right. You're absolutely right. As long as you keep it fresh and, you know, just keep the ideas flowing, it's, it's no problem at all. Right. Like the first album I probably had off the top of my head, me, my team, which is, uh, let's see, two rappers, three, four, I probably had maybe about three or four collabs in the span of 19 songs. Wow. Okay. Maybe five albums, maybe. Okay. Now, to what, what's the and I always ask this question to to artists like yourself, man. Do you find a particular time of day where you pull out your best writing? Mm, that's a good question. Oh. For me, I always my thoughts are constantly flowing, so right. I don't particularly have a good time of day. Right. That, I mean, that's just me. I, I always like if I don't have a pen and pad next to me, which I still write in pen and pad. If I don't have one next to me. I mean, I have the notes in my phone. I'll just jot down a hook or I'll jot down a punchline or whatever it can be so I don't lose it. Right. And I'll get back to it and I'll build I'll build around it. But I don't really technically have a time of day. If I'm feeling it, I'm feeling it. Right, right. Now, yeah. and then you keep a versatile. I, I go into the versatility, you know what I'm saying, of the writing in, in a few. But for the time being right now, what we're going to do is I want you to introduce, I want you to introduce back and forth. You know what I'm saying? To everybody out there all across the land. And then after we do that, after we check that track out, then what we'll do is we'll come back and let you talk about what inspired that song itself. You know what I'm saying? And, and you know, just how you came up with the concept for that and so forth and so forth. All right, cool, cool. Ladies and gentlemen, what's going on? It's your boy Exile. And this is my new record right now out on iTunes. This is Back and Forth, produced by my boy Human Torch. Let's do it. Right here. Uh, I don't waste time when I step in. Everything is a green light, front line repping. Dressed down and dressed up, I'm on 10. Hands down, I'm blessed up, I'm gon' win. What's good? My name X, I rep Queen. From the era where only the girls with tight jeans. Me, I'm something different, I'm sorry, that's all I know. Drinks lined up, you ready now, here we go. So sit back like you mean it, no taking breaths in between it. You feel the buzz in your system, the bass is hitting, now listen. Shit live, I show out, that's all facts. Needle Point precision, a tire all black. Two step, I'm who's next, and in the flesh. Light work, my flow fresh, so who's left? Pool full of liquor, so dive in, come on. You rockin' with the best in the east, sing along. If I put a bottle in the air, I'ma go dumb in here. If I just stand in the spotlight, spotlight, you know I'ma have a whole spotlight. <laughs> I'ma put a bottle in the air. I'ma go dumb in here. If I just stand in the spotlight, spotlight, you know I'ma have a club rockin' like intoxicated. I'm so faded, damn, I made it. I made it. Watch my moves in here. Yeah, I'ma get loose in here. Oh, love, stop the night, young. 
Come and get a drink on me, this all love No hate from my side, you can believe that Unless you got an issue, my nigga not ease back There's so many chicks around, no watch me Plenty more licks around for round three Tell them all the more for sure, I won't trip Light mix it up with your dog, be getting lit Been here for about an hour, this hour is something louder That dress you wearing the fit, but I know she don't give a shit Act right, let's have fun, I'm about that Shorty make it bounce, stop, rewind that on bottle, I feel nice, but start it up. Two bottles, fuck it, I ice a couple cups. Three bottles, fuck that cup, it's to the head. Four bottle, eyes get low, you know the rest. If I put a bottle in the air, I'ma go dumb in here. If I just stand in the spotlight, spotlight, you know I'ma have a whole spotlight. track back and forth listen we experience a little technical difficulties for everybody out there listening you know what i'm saying where uh somehow it was cutting in and out so i want everybody to forgive me for that x forgive me for that too but of course as everybody know the whole show is recorded and it will be up for everybody to listen to um in just a few minutes after the live air so we want to thank y'all for maintaining and tuning in with us uh right here on the show x yeah i'm here, I'm here. yeah man uh yeah i don't know what the yeah i don't know shit i don't know it was going in and out or something like that so it's got to be problems with the survey at the station but what was the inspiration behind back and forth that's like a club banger right there to have everybody head nodding yeah yeah now honestly guys on the show true life this will happen my manager is uh shout out to brandon carter and the whole xmg my manager he hit me up and said yo i need a record to take to the radio station so I right, cool, bet. This was on a Tuesday. Wednesday night, he had the record. Word? Yeah, I went to the store. I banged it. I said, all right, cool. I got you. Tuesday night, he hit me up. I said, all right, I got you. Went to the studio the next day, Wednesday. Wrote it, mixed it, mastered it, sent it over to him. He's like, all right, yeah, this is going to work. <laughs> you know what I mean? And that's honestly how it happened. Uh, you know what, man? Big shouts out to y'all team, too. As a matter of fact, Brandon and y'all whole team, because... Y'all got a squad over there, X. Yeah, we're trying to build, man. You know what I mean? There's a lot of talented people. It's, 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 too, it's too much of us to lose at any point in time, you know? Yeah, because I see a lot of, really, I see a lot of, you know what I'm saying? You got a lot of people out there. You know, every, you know, you got millions of people out there doing the music thing. A lot of cats you see on social media and a lot of different people every day. And right. shout outs to all of them. But when I look at y'all staff and just how y'all get down and how your management team roll and the work work ethic that the artists like yourself put behind what they do, I just see big things coming out of your camp. Appreciate that, man. Thank you. Shout out to all XMC. You know, shout to Big Pile. You know what I mean? The whole family. Oh, yeah. Me on the no doubt, man. Yeah, especially, like you say, man, big shouts out to our Big Pile too. Another, another he he uh, heavy cat coming out y'all camp as well. A, lyric, a lyricist also. Yeah, nah, power, power's a wild boy. Power's a wild boy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, you know I, mean? I gotta ask, man, what what do you feel like the state of the, you know, to keep it 100 with everybody, man, what do you think the, the state of the rap game is or the hip-hop game is right now? And, and that's like a two-part question. And, and I'll ask the second part in a minute, but just in general right now, man, what, what state of hip-hop, 
what state do you think hip hop is really in for us right now? Right now, I mean, right now, in my opinion, let's say it's kind of in a limbo right now. Yeah. Like so many on one on one end you got the oversaturated type of, of, of hip hop. Mm-hmm. And on the other end you got the lyricists who are trying to push that back to the forefront. You right. know, with the J. Coles and the Kendricks, you know what I mean? They drop monumental albums within the past few months. Right. You know what I mean? Trying to push that back. So we're kind of in the limbo right now. So it can go either way. Is it going to, are we, are lyrics is going to continue to push the envelope and bring back the music or is it just going to be oversaturated with, you know what I mean? Everybody sounding the same and rapping the same and over the same beats, you know? So it's all up to, it's all up to us as artists. I think that I, I agree with that too, man. Like, you know, I, I like to see everybody getting money. I always say that. So whoever can eat, that's I guess that's a good thing for the families. But at the same time, you know, me, I, I always tell people I'm from that golden era. And then I'm I, I'm biased. I'm an East Coast, up North kind of cap myself. Oh, you really biased that <laughs> Yeah, you already know. You know what I'm saying? So, 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 you know, but I mean, you know, that's the home of the lyricists. You know what I mean? And... And and we don't we don't I think I think the game has kind of shied away from that. And don't get me wrong, I love to hear the bounce music. I love to hear the, the booty shaking music and everything like that. But right. just the lyrics, you know, the lyrical content, just the pain, even sometimes the struggle mixed in with the triumph. Because everybody ain't talking about Benzes and Bentleys and you know what I'm saying and, and throwing stacks. Yeah, and and that that really wasn't the forefront of where the hip hop came from to me. That's just me. Right. No, it, it wasn't. It wasn't the forefront of where it came from. I mean, it's not to take away from as the years went on, it was it was woven into the music, like you know what I mean, with the gold chains and the folks and, and 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 you know that type of talk. So it's not that, but it's just that we're in the era right where it just seems like everywhere you, every station you turn on or every video you turn on, it sounds like the same. It's the same rapper with the same rapper format. Right. With the same beat. Exactly. And then you, you know? and, and then I hear, and, and then a lot of times, and, and this is directed to kind of direct, you know, people talk about, well, you know, when is NY, you know, going to take the game back? There's always different, there's always different ways that people kind of transform that statement. It's either when is NY going to take the game back? Or then I hear some people saying, well, NY rappers need to really step it up. I hear it in different types of ways. In, in my eyes, I don't think NY rappers really ever left. And, and I don't think that they necessarily need to step it up. I don't think they ever stepped it down. I just think that what happened was the, 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 I, I want to say the big players or, 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 you know, or the big wigs or whatever just kind of shifted the industry to where the, those type of cats weren't noticed anymore. And so when they fed the other stuff to everybody's minds, nobody knew what was real lyrics anymore. Right, right, right. Well, I, I'll say this. Yes and no, I agree with you. Yeah. I say yes because you're right. It is the, the, the power that be yeah. who, who, who perpetuate that cycle. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Who, who, who give the yeses and the noes on what gets played and what don't in certain cases. And on the flip side of things, it's the people. Okay. You feel me? Right. It, it, it's this cycle. If the people like it, the higher ups are going to push it. If the higher ups keep pushing it, the more people are going to like it. So the lyricists are kind of either stuck in the middle of their circle or outside of the circle. Right. And and that was, Go ahead. No, no, no. I'm saying, that, and that's what the that's what the circle is. So it's like. You can say NY artists never left, and don't get me wrong, even some people from, from, from NY, like, it's the same thing, it's the same thing, like, you know what I mean, try to challenge yourself, you feel me, so I'm not just gonna mm-hmm. sit here in front like it's, uh, any other region, right. even, even dudes here in NY, in this region, trying to rap, feel like they're from somewhere else, and you know you didn't grow up that way, or you know you never rap like that, you know what I mean, that's not where yeah. you're from. Yeah, I guess you're right though, because when you there, you would obviously see that. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. Exactly. You have to be like the people from the other regions, like the down south, the Atlanta, the Miami, the this, that, and the third. They don't rap like they're from New York. There's probably an exception of yeah. a slim few yeah, that rap like 
they're from New York, but they don't try to sound like that. It's because of the fact that this is where the culture started. But on the flip side, you got people in New York, a majority of us rap like they from from they from <laughs> Mississippi. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, you, yeah, because you'd have had, yeah, because they'd have had a few hits. As a matter of fact, come out of there, and it really did have a total different range. To the point, it was crazy because when I started hearing people from other places trying to claim that, yeah, people from certain rappers from NY done stole their style. I'm like, where the hell is, you know what I'm saying? What are we coming to? You know what I'm saying? When 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 you kind of start to hear that, man, but. That's what it is. But look, we, uh, you know, again, back on you, man, we, we really like what you're doing because, it, listen, it's fresh, it's clear, it's understandable, it's the fundamentals, you know what I'm saying? And again, what I love about it, man, is that natural head knock music. You could be in the car and just bob your head to this. Yeah, that, that's, that's what I'm going for. I, want, I definitely want to push that, but as well as not be lazy with the lyrics. Yeah, yeah. You know, I definitely, I definitely want to push that. As, as fun as that record is, I, I didn't really dumb down the lyrics too tough. Right. You know, I, I just made it fun. Right. Now, okay. Now, we know you got some, you know, or, or for us that have heard, we know you got some tracks is for the ladies too. But just letting everybody out there know, you know what I'm saying, in general, that, you know, about the versatility of what they can find on your album. Is it going to be something for the street cats, something for the honeys, just, you know? Well, the last, the last album, the album I, I put out, um, it was very versatile it's something for for everybody on there mm -hmm. like i couldn't i had being that it was my first album i had so much to say and i still got a lot to say yeah. but i just had so much that i honestly couldn't even fit on that first album with with, with 19 cuts and all it's like it's not enough yeah. but there's, there's something for the for people who go through a struggle right there's something for people who just feeling angry there's something for for there's a couple joints for females Right. There's probably like maybe one or two club tracks, but there are a lot of tracks that just give you that feeling, just sit back and just vibe to it. No matter how you're feeling, mm -hmm. there's not one song on that album that will not, you won't feel in your soul. Okay. And you kept, okay. and, and producer wise, and, and you know, pr producer wise and collaborations, like on the first one, you just kind of, you just kind of kept this one, you know, as your baby. You kind of kept it as far as you, and you pretty much drilled it out, right? Yeah, I kept this is this is my baby. This is my this is my first child. Okay, you know what I mean. I said if, if I do nothing else, I gotta do this for me. Yeah, yeah, no yeah. doubt. Yeah, no doubt. Now, when um, shoot, okay, so now look, all right, so you got the second joint drop now, and and you're still writing. So, are are you going to lean on this one? Are you going to lean on this this second album for a minute? Are you already in the process of maybe working on the next one? Like, what what can we expect? Or some singles? Right. Well, no. Um, I'm like I said, I'm currently working on the second album. Okay. Um, I'm not really rushing it just because the first album is so fresh. What I am doing oh. is uh, I put this single out just to start getting the buzz going. I'm working on my mixtape, uh, Bad Intentions, which I want to drop um, probably the beginning of summer. Mm -hmm. but, uh, I'm probably halfway done with that. And I just really, this time with this album, same thing when intricate with the producers. It's not really the same producers on this album, just so I can give it a different vibe, give it a different feel, and really take my time with it and just have every piece, uh, have every piece complete. Okay, okay. And what about, you know, like, you know, when it comes to some shows and things like that, like when you, when you go ready to do a show, like, I'm assuming the energy is is is, is upbeat, it's up pace. But you know, what do you like to bring to the shows for your fans and stuff like that when you do them? Oh, it's, it's pure energy. Like on my shows, on my YouTube page, uh, on my website, let me get a chance to check that out. Yeah. But a, a show, an exile show, like like an exile show is pure energy. It, I really really like to to put on a, a good good performance for the fans right. and interact with them. And make them feel like I'm talking to them, which I am. Right. I try to make it as personable as possible, and at the same time, not lazy. You know what I mean? I can't stand in one spot. I'm not that guy. Yeah, yeah. So you, yeah, I feel you. So yeah, I'm not that guy. Yeah. What, what about um? You got any any dates coming up anytime in the near future? Or you 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 know still working on some dates that you might want people to know about? Or I am still working on some as far as show wise. I am still working on some dates. Uh, right now, I'm pushing for May. 
Okay. Um, I'm, I'm doing this promo run right now. Of course, starting with you, Mr. Keith Harris. All right. Um, and then I'm, I'm, I want to, I want to say mid to end of May, I definitely have something solid. Mm-hmm. And then some, I'm just trying to, I'm just trying to go off, go crazy with the show. That's what's up. Well, what I want to do, um, also X, is what I want to do is when you get ready to uh, get your show itinerary lined up, um, you know what I'm saying? I love for you to come back on the show. Or, or, you know, just make sure we, we in tune with where you're going to be and your locations. That way we can blast at it to everybody, too. Oh, most definitely. You know, you definitely know what's up. All right. That's what's up, man. And, of course, any of them singles. Now, we are, all right, we got the back and forth. Now, I'm going to ask you like I do, you know, I'm going to put you in rotation, man, if you don't mind. I know them certain joints you don't want leaked out, but the ones that you don't mind, man, I, I love to go ahead and put you in rotation on the show here because... Look, we like what you're doing, and we all about good music. A lot of independent artists, and, and to all y'all out there listening, I know that you know we show love on the station, so we stand behind people that's doing things. But I, I want to particularly stand behind X and his movement, as I said before, because his his camp his camp is off the chain first and foremost. And uh, you know, so it's gonna be a lot of hot artists that y'all gonna be here coming out of you know here coming out of their team first of all and their staff. But X, because I I like in particular. And we like, and all of us, you know, like your music and we think it's hot, man. I want to be able to keep you in rotation on here as much as possible, my brother. I, I respect that. I definitely appreciate that. Always always appreciate the love. Yeah. You know what I mean? And, and I, I appreciate you being a genuine dude about everything. Hey, man, look, and you know, I know that actually we were supposed to, we were supposed to link up probably about, probably about two, maybe almost three weeks ago now. And there's a lot of people know out there, I took kind of like a little hiatus off my show for a minute. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Okay. Yeah. I had uh, yeah, no, no, yeah. We were supposed to honestly before the hiatus because I know you took a little hiatus. Yeah. Before the hiatus, we were supposed to uh, get a, a performance together. A uh, performance together. Yeah. We were supposed to hook up and do a show, but I had to get my spot up. I forgot somebody else off my camp took the spot. Oh, word. I can't, yeah, yeah. I can't remember who. Um, one of the one of the, one of the cats off my camp took the spot. Oh, okay. I had um, I had a show upstate. Yeah. Um, now I'm scared. I had to show what's the hall. Okay. Over here in New York. So I was like, I know I wouldn't be able to do the show. Yeah. And at the same time, be on the radio. So, so I said, nah, I want to, I definitely want to be all in. Word when up. It comes to me with Mr. Keith Harris. So hey. like, just push me back to school. <laughs> And, um, we'll get up when we get up. Hey, no doubt, man. Good luck on the love for that. And look, I want you to know too. Next time when you do get ready to do a show, we could bring it live. We could bring, you know, what I'm saying we could do it live on set too. I know you be grinding out when you're doing the show, man. But before you get ready to go on stage, or maybe you know, what I'm saying when you get ready to come off stage, still, you know, what I'm saying we still call you up, or you, you know, what I'm saying and, and link you in, and and holler at everybody out there live from the show and be like, yo, this is what's going on. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, man, that's that's a one. Hey, uh, let everybody out there, let everybody out there once again know everywhere they can go check you out on social media and um, where they can go find your music and, and purchase it and everything like that again. Well, you can find me at my website, which is iamexile dot com. I a m x y l e dot com. It's got all my music, the links to my album Thoughts of the New Yorker, which is out now. Uh, my mixtapes, everything like that is on there. My social media is on there. You can follow me on iTunes. Or sorry, not iTunes. <laughs> you can follow me on Twitter and IG. You can follow me on Twitter and IG at X Y L E N Y C. Word up, word up. Uh, and 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 on the, and definitely. When this rig is up on the Keith Harris show. Oh yeah, that, and, and that's gonna be up in a few. Right after we done that, that's gonna be up in a few minutes. As a matter of fact, I want to make sure I hurry up and get that up too. And um. You know, because I'm, I'm beefing with my engineers right now. You know what I'm saying? I know they probably out there hear me. I'm beefing with them right now because, uh, you know, like I said, they, 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 they had me a little choppy on this situation. And I don't really like that too much. But, um. No, uh, no. Somebody got to get the axe. Somebody got to go. Yeah. Hey. Look, man. Look. <laughs> hey, X. Somebody, somebody got to. Somebody got an answer for this. Look, yeah, man. It's, it's real. You know what I'm saying? It's real when we set it up like that, man. And like I said, I've been want, you know, waiting, looking forward to getting you on here. Also, big shouts out to Leora Talent, too, man. You know what I'm saying? Oh, um, definitely. Shout out to Leora for putting in work. Like, Leora's, yeah. she's on top of her game. No you know doubt. I, mean? I got no, I, no bad words for her. No doubt. Uh, also, any other shout outs you got, brother? Wow. Um, Go ahead. On, we got time. Go ahead and lay them on out. 
Well, no, nah, like I, I always said, like, besides, you know, my man in between the whole XMG, the whole XMG camp, shout out to the real. Right. I mean, that's, that's, that's always my thing. Shout out to the real. Whether you know me or you don't know me, whether you love me or you don't love me, just thank you for being real. Period. Yeah. Yeah. Goes for anybody, everywhere, at any time. Nah, that make a lot of sense. That, to be, to be, to be honest, shit, that really sums it up, man. Yeah. <laughs> cuz cuz you 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 know say a lot of times you know people can run down a lot of names and it's good to get them shout outs, you know what I'm saying? Everybody holler out moms, dads and you know the family and everybody like that. But at the same Yeah, but at the same time just like you say there's there's tons of people out there who show support and and sometimes you don't even know who they are right then off the head. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, exactly, exactly, exactly. So, but the real know who I am. They know who I'm talking to. And I appreciate and I love you all. Like, hand it down. I've been from from the moment I started grinding up until this point. Yeah. I couldn't I can't express enough. If I if I die tomorrow, you know what I mean, I'll be good with the love that I've been getting. Word. You know what, man? One thing I wanna say uh before we get out of here too, man, is um your character, you know? And and, and one of the things, you know, when I talk to people that that Everybody, everybody's got their own their own scenario. But but one thing after talking to you that I really want to kind of point out to everybody X that I, I I in particularly noticed and I like about just where your head is at is you know what you do what you do you seem you, you your lyrics speak for themselves and you seem like you you appear to me to be a, a dude who uses his brain to really simplify what I'm saying. <laughs> Yeah, I get that a lot. Thank you, sir. Yeah, <laughs> I get that. Well, I mean, you gotta be, you gotta be smart in this industry. You know what I mean? And I'm not saying book smart because not everybody is book smart. Like I, I couldn't, right. I couldn't recite to you a poem from from Beethoven or whatever. Gonna be off rip, right. but I'm smart enough to know what I want mm-hmm. and what I don't want. Right. You know what I mean? And when you speak with intelligence, that's what they fear. People fear intelligence. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like if I was talking, if I was talking, you know what I mean, talking on, on some bullshit or whatever, <laughs> people don't mind. Like, all right, you know what I mean? He's just another one, whatever the case may be. Word. Word. You know I mean? but, and, and, yeah. and, and, and that's what I'm saying, too. And, 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 and that's not, and don't, don't, get, don't get me or don't get us wrong. That ain't to knock nobody. You know what I'm saying? Because. No, no, no. I'm not, I'm not knocking nobody. Yeah. I don't ever get that to us. I'm not knocking nobody. Right. Just speaking for myself. Right, cause you know I, I I gotta I gotta let these people know I'm not I'm not one to be fucked with. Right, I'm on any level. It, there it is, you know what I'm saying? Cause I look, I'm the same way when I'm look when I'm off air, I'm somewhere else. So I'm on, you know what I'm saying? I'm in the streets with my peeps. Everybody, you know, some cats might catch me on a different level. But yeah. what, what I like about it is, you know, you you seem like you take your business serious. You somebody who could walk into a boardroom and sit down, and they gotta respect your mind. Is what I'm saying. Yeah, you got to get to that point because that's where the money is at. I, I like money. That's where the money is at. Word up, word up. The main color's green. Yeah, that's it. All right. Look, man, X, look, again, I, I've been honored to have you on the show, man. I'm, I'm glad that you was able to stop through and talk to us. Can't wait to hear from you again. Uh, You always, look, you got a home right here on the Keith Harris show. And you ain't, listen, you ain't going nowhere. Just because you leave the air, you ain't going nowhere because we getting ready to rock out with your tunes every day anyway. So you still with us, my G. That's what it is. Much respect to everybody listening to the Keith Harris show. You, Mr. Keith Harris. Yep. You are that man. You know what I mean? Whatever I can do, yep. I got you. Whatever you need, I got you. I might send you, I can get up the air. I mean, I'll try to send you some merchandise or whatever, some shirts or whatever. We definitely want to keep this relationship going. Hey, no doubt, man. I look, I do the same thing, man. That's vice versa. I shoot out the Keith Harris shirt for you, my brother. Um, and look, in any um, and we got you on any promos or anything you got coming up, man. You know what I'm saying? If we, if I can shoot a little twenty second commercial for you, something like that, thirty seconds. You know, it's all love, man. Just holler at me. I got you on this end, and uh, you know, throw the sponsorship your way and everything like that, man. It's nothing. I got you. I got you one hundred grand. Much respect, my man. All right, look, everybody out there, uh. Of course, you tune into the number one station on the net, Hotline Radio. Keith Harris, your guy, the Keith Harris Show. For everybody out there that either tuned in late or or tuned in early, you know what I'm saying? Forgive me for the you know for the glitches and the mishaps here and there. I want everybody to know, of course, you can catch this full conversation with me in exile. And we're going to put the rush on this and have this up in, shit, a few minutes. You know what I'm saying? We're going to go ahead and do this one and, and, um, and go ahead and edit it and push it out early so everybody can check that out. 
uh, right here on the show. It'll be up posted on the Facebooks, uh, uh, you know, all the social networks, the Hotline Radio site. Uh, of course, you know, already, you already know X. You you go get the MP, so you can go ahead and throw that up as well, man. And um, you know. Hey, exact. You know what? Did you tell everybody that website earlier? Yes, I am. I say it again. I am exile.com. I a m x y l e dot com. That's what. That's what's up. Everybody, make sure you go check it out. Oh, and go to YouTube too. Go to this man YouTube page too, cause like I say, he got mad drink. You can you can sit on there for quite a while and just scroll through them drinks. <laughs> You go. Right, get your popcorn, sit back, and just enjoy the show. You want to check out my YouTube page? It's X Y L E one thousand. No doubt, X Y one thousand. All right, I because I had I had it all. I went to it myself, but I wanted to make sure I wrote it down so I can blast that out again on the joint myself, man. Look, X, look, X man, look, it's been a big deal talking to you, my brother. Look, I'll be talking to you soon. Everybody out there, all across the land, it's my man Exile. Make sure you check him out on all the sites. Go download the music. Hit Tadal. Uh, hit him up. Uh, check them out everywhere. Follow them on social media. It's going down. We support them one hundred percent over here, and we'll be talking to you soon, X. We're gonna get at you with them show days when you know them too, my G. Already, I'm in. All right, one hundred. Ready. That was Exile right here on the Keith Harris Show, Hotline Radio, the number one station on the net. Cool dude, man. I like his attitude. I like his lyrics. I like his music, and you know, and I like his attitude. I just like the way where his head is at. Um, you know, another another cat showing, you know, just showing everybody that listen, man. You can make good music, and at the same time, you can um, you could just be normal. I guess is what I'm trying to say. Everything ain't always, you know, so and so and so and so, man. Because one important thing out here in this industry. Is that you need to know where you stand. People need to know where you stand. People need to know how to respect you. And, you know, like you said, man, you don't want people laughing you out the door. So big shouts out to that. And um, it means a lot to everybody. So uh, once again, uh, one love to XMG um, and, and just the whole staff, Leora Talent and everybody out there like that from their camp um, as well. Don't y'all touch that down. You're listening to Hotline Radio, the number one station on the net. Oh, and what we're going to do. Is uh we're gonna rock out with back and forth one more again. We're gonna play that again, man, because I don't think people really got to hear it the first time for whatever reason that certain things was happening. I don't think everybody got the max out to that, and I really want y'all to get to feel this track and enjoy it. So I'm great put it on once again for y'all. This back and forth from my man Exile right here on Hotline Radio. Let's get it. Keep her a show. When I step in, everything is a green light, front line reppin', dressed down and dressed up, I'm on 10, hands down, I'm blessed up, I'm gon' win, what's good, my name X, I rep Queen, from the era when only the girls with tight jeans, me, I'm something different, I'm sorry, that's all I know, drinks lined up, you ready, now here we go, so I sit back like you mean it, no taking breaths in between it, you feel the buzz in your system, the bass is hitting, now listen, shit live, I show out, that's all facts, needle point precision, I tie you all black, two step, I'm who's next, and in the flesh, light work, my flow fresh, so who's left? Pool full of liquor, so dive in, come on. You rockin' with the best in the east, sing along. If I put a bottle in the air, I'ma go dumb in here. If I just stand in the spotlight, spotlight, you know I'ma have the whole spotlight. <laughs> I'ma put a bottle in the air. I'ma go dumb in here. If I just stand in the spotlight, spotlight, you know I'ma have the club rockin' like. Intoxicated, I'm so faded, damn I made it. I made it. Watch my moves in here. Yeah, I'ma get loose in here. Oh love, stop the night young. Come and get a drink on me, it's all love. No hate from my side, you can believe that. Unless you got an issue, my nigga, not ease back. There's too many chicks around to watch me. Plenty more licks around for round three. Tell them all the more for sure, I won't trip. Light, mix it up with the dog, be getting lit. Been here for about an hour, the sound something louder. The dress you wearing no fit, but I know she don't give a shit. Act right, 
right, let's have fun, I'm about that. Shorty make it bounce, stop, rewind that. On the bottle, I feel nice, let's start it up. Two bottles, fuck of the ice, a couple cups. Three bottles, fuck that cup, it's to the head. Four bottle, eyes get low, you know the rest. If I put a bottle in the air, I'ma go dumb in here. If I just stand in the spotlight, spotlight, you know I'ma have a whole spotlight. Go. That was back and forth from Exile right here on the Keith Harris Show. Told you that track was hot. Don't try to touch that dial. We'll be right back in just a few minutes. Keep it locked. 